the Kenyan youth remain the biggest population affected by unemployment in the country. White collar jobs have become very rare to find as graduates are suffering with their colorful certificates at home. Most young men and women have opted to exploit their talents to make ends meet, and this has given birth to a new industry in the market, the creative industry. This is the story of one such young man, Moha Graphics, a graffiti artist based in Nairobi, Kenya, who has created a business opportunity for himself and other youth out of his talent. Moha has been in the graffiti business for 25 years. I have been working for all of them. I have been working for Magari, and I have been working for modification, and I have been working for bicycle, portraits, any manumba, my hotel, my office. I have been working for all of them. Because when I was born, I was born and I was born. Being an artist, you have a creative mind. A creative mind can do anything. I have been working for my neighbors who need their work. Hata za kumount TV kwa ukuta. Pipe imeharibika mahali nenda na watengezea. Stima imeeleka shida nafanya. So mimi hakuna kitu sezi fanya. Na nashukuru Mungu because that's another talent because kitu nyingine mimi mimi tumie both of my hands. Mimi uchora na mkono wa right. Right na left. Left yoyote hizo tu mbili yani. Meta kigarazi zetu ni mwanamke. Ni kitu nime make mistakes for the past 25 years. The first 15 years of my of this career, okay, haiku kwa career ilikuwa like a hobby. The first 15 years ilikuwa na make mistake ndo najua, na fail, naamka, najua kitu. Apart from Moha himself, 20 other youth get their daily bread from this company. Mimi nashukuru Mungu sana kunipatia hiyo uwezo ya kuweza kuemploy watu, kupatia watu ujira, kupatia watu knowledge ya kazi. Mimi mimi nimejifundisha, unaona? So mimi feel nashukuru Mungu sana. To the young men that Moha has employed here, he is not just an employer. He is also a teacher and their mentor. Benson Waiguru is one such trainee here at Moha Graphics. Naitwa Benson Waiguru Muremi. Imagine I'm Tani Sura Babako 08 at gmail.com. I'm here for around three weeks now. I'm a student. The progress is good. I'm a student. 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 I could enhance my graffiti culture. 2016-2017, don't you live any pichangu ya kwanza? Nili kuwa home. To ukuta tu sketch sketch iyo na nika piga rangi. Don't nika kaka. Ah, nika enda bado nika fanya electrical engineering. Nia kambili. Kani kalia. Nili maliza do nili ona marketi kuchini. Siyezi kompia na my passion. Nika ingia tu, nika tafta moha. Nika sign in, sign a work on gaining skills on matatu industry. And to those sitting at home with their academic certificates waiting for white collar jobs, Benson has some very important life advice. Kwa vijana wako hapo inje, usingangane na education. Unuza kuwa na education lakini jo kazi ya mkono pio yeshimu. Yeshimu, judeli lazima uingize. Si kama hiyo ya ofisi, yoni end month. Ama ukulie za vako tu. Na ina jairi uchoke pesa yako. Mama ya tuko jua kali industry. Jua ni kali lakini naivisha do. Ganja Farm is a matatu that brought fame to Moha 
after his workings on the Matatu's exterior amazed the masses. Yoma 3 ilikuwa ni jamaa mwingine alikuwa anafa kuchora but alikuwa amechukua dawa na akapotea. So mimi nilikuwa nafanya gari nyingine kwa the same garage. So mwenyewe wenye pale wakaniona vile tu mimi yani niko obedient na kazi yani na na bidii ndio wakuja kaniambia kama naweza wapatia design kadhaa na aim yao ilikuwa wanataka kitu inahusika na ganja. So mimi nikawatolea design kitu very yani ilikuwa kitu too different wakaipenda na nikaifanya na safu there ndio watu wakaanza kuuliza hii gari imefanya nini because nilitengeneza nilicreate a new style at that time watu wakuwa wanafanya vitu kama hiyo so ni create kitu mpya na watu wakapenda na safu from there sasa ndo nikaanza kutafuta na watu unaona kwa sababu hiyo ndo gari ya kwanza niliandika hapo chini moha sikuandika moha graphic naandika tu moha eh, na sasa kitu fani ilikuwa mwenye hiyo mwenye alipeleka hiyo gari pia alikuwa anaitwa moha So ndo the next time wakaniambia kama unaandika jina eka na kitu nyingine because mbona nafikiria labda ni jina mwenyewe au dereva au makanga Does Moha face any challenges in this job? Hakuna kazi ina challenge. Miss Jalala because niko nafanya well this. Nimeshinda na dao siku nzima. So mtu huko nje anazona ah muani boss. Yeye maisha yake ni rais, si rais. To get your hard and money is not easy. Kwa mtu yoyote, bora ni pesa halali. Haikufanywa rais. Hao watu wanaotengeneza ga pesa mingi vi rais vi rais kuna vitu behind. Hiyo ndio kuambia for a fact. I'm 45 years saivi na naambi. I know people, I've met people, I've seen life. Naweza kuambia pesa ya haraka iko na mambo yake. Lakini pesa ya kutolea jasho si rahisi. I don't sleep. Mwili na kuuma. Hata unapata pesa kukule na kuashida. Unaona? But kitu muhimu, bora unafanya kitu unapenda na ni halali mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Usiwaya mbele kitu unapenda. Moha's piece of advice to the youth concerning patience in life and the now common fake social media life among the youth. Ya ule mtu mwingine si yako. Uruke juu chini hauwezi kuwa kama yeye. Unaje? Mimi sahihi nikija kwa nikija kwa internet niangalie magaraji zile ziko majuu. Walai ni hata siko karibu. Hata niko mbali kabisa. But the main thing nafanya ni nini? I am grateful for what I have. So my youth kitu muhimu wanafaa kujua ile life uko nayo ndio yako. Wale wengine ile wanaweka ni kama ni kwa entice but mimi naweza kuambia kitu moja from my experience I've met people very rich people watu kuja hapa mafemas na nini but ukikana mtu one hour akwambie vitu anapitia unashukuru Mungu ile wewe uko nayo. Kuna mtu aki anafungua macho na ni blind. Mbona sasa hii wale watu blind wasipost life yao ya kuwa blind utamani kukuwa blind kwa nini? All people always post good things which they want you to see while the bad things they go through they don't post. Ushona wa celebrity, ushona mtu akipost iko hospitali. Wana post at today I was not feeling well but ile siku kweli ni mgonjwa maututi aweki unasikia alikufa si ni kweli unasikia ga ah kumbe aliadimitiwa 2 3 days hizo 2 3 days hako post unashtukia alifariki si ni kweli so because hii sasa si kuna inatupatia pressure tukoe kama wale is because ya one thing sisi hatuko satisfied na kitu tuko nayo we always want what people show us tukoe nazo